But not only is this dish delicious, it's really like a textural masterpiece. Adds a whole nother layer of the already many layers that are in this broth. Mm. Just right outside KL or Kuala Lumpur is a neighborhood of PJ. And this episode is our second part of our noodles series. Here in Malaysia. And we're right outside restaurant Sea Park or Sea Park for more delicious noodles. First stop, Auntie Christina's. So you're here at the namesake, with the namesake dish here at Auntie Christina's Sarawak Laksa, the Sarawak Laksa. So Sarawak is the state in East Malaysia on the island of Borneo. We really wanted to go, unfortunately we can't make it on this trip, but it's the next best thing. We got the Laksa, the Laksa is very nice. It has the bihun, the thin rice noodles, big juicy prawns. The broth is really interesting. It's a kind of a paste, a little bit of mixed with liquid too. So there's coconut milk in here. The paste is quite thick. You have shreds of chicken, you have shredded omelet in here, you have celery leaves. It looks amazing. I'm gonna take a sip of this. Mmm. Wow. It kind of reminds me, it's a light, slight bit tangy in here. A little bit tangy, it's a little creamy. Almost reminds me of a mix of a little bit of like a sam laksa, a bit with curry mi, but in its own way. Like the flavor of the paste is very distinct. That's a Sarawak laksa paste. I know there's prawn stock in here, chicken broth. Mm. I like this has a nice kick in here too. The several leaves are really interesting, but the choice of the bihun noodle makes a lot of sense because it really absorbs that broth and it's mixed in with that paste. So a lot of times with laksa, it's like actually the first laksa I had that's bihun noodle strictly. And it does make a lot of sense to really absorb that broth and that paste. To make this laksa complete, you gotta add in the kalamansi and the sambal balachan. Now the fun really begins. Mm. All that citrusy element Kalamansi adds and the Sambal Balachan gives a little bit of kick but more importantly it gives it a little bit of a funky flavor to add to that. Adds a whole nother layer of the already many layers that are in this broth. Sarawak Laksa is a really distinct, delicious Laksa. You can see why it's so well loved in Malaysia. And we can't wait to try it in Sarawak one day, but this is delicious. So another classic Sarawak noodle dish here is the kolomi. This is a dry noodle dish. And at first glance, it looks a lot like wonton meat. We've eaten a lot of wonton meat here in Malaysia, best of all in Malacca. But this also comes with minced pork. There's sliced char siu roast pork. Uh, there is scallion. There is fried garlic bits in here. And of course, that sinful, delicious, golden treasure, the fried pork lard. Let's take a big batch of these noodles. Mouthfeel definitely is a lot like a wonton meat, but it's a little bit more toothsome, a little more chewy, and the flavor is very different. It has its own distinct taste here. It almost has like a oily feel to it in a good way, and I love all that flavor of all that pork and the fried garlic in here. It really makes it nice, but you gotta add in some of these chilies. Much like wonton meat. 
to give it a nice mix. Here we go. Get a bit of everything. Now that's where you get everything. When you get a bite of that lard, roast pork, minced pork, and that pickled chili in there, it really brings it all together. This is delicious, especially for a dried noodle lover. This is your dish, but I recommend definitely ordering both for sure. An awesome, legendary spot for Hokkien meat. So Hokkien meat and kale will be something very different than Hokkien meat and Penang. So the Hokkien meat here is uh, the noodles that are fried with uh, soy sauce. And you also have this beautiful golden crispy lard. That's oh, this one's just covered with it, just saturated in this beautiful crispy lard. You have the cabbage, you have these fat noodles that are soaked in this dark soy sauce, but not too much. And you also have the shrimp and you'll have sliced pork as well. Take a bite of this Hokkien meat. Mm. Oh my God. So special about this Hokkien meat here at Awa is that they have the charcoal fire block and that smokiness really comes through. Charcoal is just really special. More places should be using charcoal. This is a perfect example of that. And what I like too is that it's got a nice amount of the dark soy sauce, but not too much. So it's not gloopy, it's not overly saucy. You get a nice balance. You can really taste the noodles. You can really taste the wake, that's nice smokiness. Then you got the lovely crunchy piece of lard. You can eat one by itself. And they're crunchy, but a little bit airy too. I love that. Then you have this nice uh, sliced pork to go with it too. What I love about it, it's very well balanced. It's not salty, it's not too saucy. You really get a really well balanced noodle here. So. If you want amazing opium meat here in the KL or PJ area, you gotta come to Ava. This spot is. Amazing looking curry meat from Kum Chuan and this bowl looks very mouthwatering. It's a very rich looking broth. So it comes with a lot here. It comes with the sliced pork, tofu puffs, it's got the long beans chopped up, it's got the bean sprouts, and our favorite, the cockles. Okay. I'm gonna try that broth first. It looks so good. Mmm. That broth is so rich. It's got some spice to it. It's got these curry leaves. Man, this is exactly the kind of curry meat broth that I love. Now, I'll try a little bit of that curry puff because it soaks up that broth really nicely. I love how this one has a kick. There is a little sambal on the side. We might add a little bit later, but it doesn't really need it.
gonna try it with these nice classic yellow ones. Noodles there cook perfectly too. Get a nice sliced pork. Yeah, that uh, roast pork has a nice sweet flavor to it too. And now we gotta go dig in for those beautiful cockles that kind of been buried in here. Get the cockle with the broth. We just can't get enough of that. Those flavor, those cockles, they're like that briny oyster flavor is just so good. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna live without having cockles and curry meat again. If we ever, like back in our favorite place in New York, they don't have cockles, like these, they're just a match made in heaven out here, seriously. So good. Curry meat spot, well worth the trip to Subang. We're here at Restaurant Gunwa for another noodle here in PJ or Pitaling Jaya, Malaysia. And this is delicious. Doshi fun? Doshi fun? I'm not sure, but all I know is it smells good, it looks very good, and it has lots of fried shrimp in here with thick noodles. And it came on our table with this wooden box, literally wood. And they also call this treasure box clay pot. All right, can't wait to have this. Oh, it smells so like garlicky and lots of onions and shrimp and meat and can't wait to have it. What's really interesting about these noodles is that this is made with the rice flour. It's still kind of thick, but it's also silky and kind of smooth. That has like a bit of a toothy mouthfeel like it has. It was made with wheat noodles, but it's made with rice. It's a really unique texture in that way. And I like the shape of it, how it's cut off at the end like a rat tail. It's the most delicious rat tail you're ever gonna eat in your life. I guarantee you that. Sizzle, oh man. This is a really interesting dish, this lo shi fun. First time trying it. The funny thing is actually nicknamed rat tail noodle. <laughs> the noodles do look like rat tails. It's made with rice flour. It's got a really interesting look to it. And it's in this sizzling clay pot. So every time you move it around, you just hear that nice sizzle. It's still smoky, it's very hot. So you have the minced pork in here, you have some looks like fried garlic, sesame seeds, chili, scallions, there's egg in here, there's so much going on. What's also very interesting is that the noodles that are stuck at the bottom on the clay pot that are still sizzling, you actually get kind of a crunchy texture to it. It was almost like the crispy rice in a clay pot rice or like the desired con con or uh, that you get like the Dominican con con rice. That's like the most desired part is that bottom of the rice. And that's kind of like this too, the bottom of that noodle, the crispy bits that you mix in with the silky softer ones. It's really like a textural masterpiece. You have those silky smooth noodles and you have those crunchy bits from that dried shrimp, the fried garlic, lard. There's just so much going on in here. This is one incredible noodle dish. A must try on your list, absolutely. Rat tail, most delicious rat tail you're ever gonna eat. <laughs>